Okay, welcome back to Narodnaya Solyanka 2016. I think the first thing I'm going to do while I'm in the army warehouses is just go back to where the mercenaries were, where Bolt was in the last episode. I think it's around there that the sniper rifle was supposed to be. Yeah, get the sniper rifle from the mercs. And I did think it would be around there, but I haven't found it yet, so I'm assuming it's around that area. It may be... Maybe it's up in the rocks, I don't know, but I, I, I need to go and get it. I do need to do that, so... What? It's ten to nine in the morning, so we're nice and early. I'm going the wrong way. So let's go and do that while I'm here. Yeah, so I think I will try the mercenary... Uh, if I can call it a base, just go for that first. It may be there, very well hidden, I don't know. And then, if not, I will search around that area. Maybe the bloodsuckers turned back. Hell of a lot of uh, anomalies along that track. Don't think there's anyone there. It's probably too soon. Just heard voices. Saw someone walk behind a rock, I think. Yeah, one there as well. I'm sure I saw one go behind a rock. Yeah, there's one. Bloody hell, he had a rocket launcher. Another one with a rocket launcher. Bloody rocket launchers. Wow, I saw him just step out from the tree and it was just, I couldn't do it quick enough. Should have hit fired. I didn't think he would be there, but then it did happen the other day, so I should have been more ready. You might not even be in the same area this time. Yes, you are. Nice try.
That may well not be the end of them. Oh no, I'm overloaded. Uh, drop that. Is he down? I think he is. Yeah. I seem to be getting a bit more resistance around this area lately. Somebody really wants me dead. Ah, M209 grenade, good. Getting to the point where I'm going to have to stash some gear or drop some, drop some more of it. I think I'm going to be carrying all this gear. That's about six enemies, maybe five or six anyway. Certainly, um, of late, seem to seem to be getting more of them. Ну, зеленый туда-сюда, как бы, и 
Onwards to X10. I've got to get myself inside it first. That may be a challenge in itself. I know it's a strange thing to say, but these, like, really gnarly, chunky, sort of almost rock-like tree stumps remind me of lumps of ginger that you use for cooking. That's what comes to mind, anyway. Bit of a strange thing to come out with, but that's what springs to mind. Well, I'm probably in a good as place as any, really. One over there, all right. Well, probably about ten of them. Might be worth letting them come to me.
and all of a sudden he was there. Just takes a moment. What's that? Oh, huh. I never even saw that before, unless it's, uh... Oh, God. Death by pawn. Here he comes. No, you're going to be too heavy. I suppose the best place is to position myself about here. Think about it. Not a good time to get itchy ears. See, it just takes a moment and then it, it, it gets uh, shafted. And well, we all know that the enemies will hack in this game. Yeah, I'm only going to have to deal with them when I come out, so I might as well, uh... I wonder if they can make the transition, come through there and follow me down, I don't know. I might just hang back for a minute and see if they do materialise. No, maybe I'm okay. Find the documents from X10.
So there's going to be a monolithian here. Dead or alive. That I need to get the documents off, it would seem. Plus we've got mutants to consider. I think he's more concerned with the cockroaches than, uh, than me. Well, he's injured anyway, so uh, let's carry on. There he is. I don't know if that was the same one, but probably was. Uh, wrong ammunition. So got a terrible habit in this mod of not reading properly. I need to get the documents from him, so a, a dead or alive monolithian. I would have thought he'd be... Bloody hell. I would have thought he would um, be alive. Takes too long to reload. Thought I'd saved somewhere a bit sooner than that, a bit closer. Mm hmm. And this time he's not there. Are you? I don't know where he went. He was there and then he wasn't.
course, unless he went past me, where I came from, and then bled out, maybe. So I'm on a lithium, dead or alive. That sounded very much like a bloodsucker to me around there. can hear one breathing. Oh, I've only got armor piercing for this thing now. Clearly another poltergeist around somewhere. this area at least twice before. Must be a red one. No grenades. I don't think it was the same one. No. the other one as well. Alright, both uh, standard bloodsuckers. I'm going to carry on fairly quickly and look for this monolithium. And see if I can find him and then get the document. Like there. Right, let's get out of here. I didn't, well, I thought he would be alive, and then I thought, no, I don't think he will be. <laughs> oh my god. I should have been more face on. Oh, I did kill a few of them. Hmm, that was actually quite successful. I didn't think it was. Yeah, I forgot there was a controller as well. I 
killed one of them. There you are. Eh. Uh. Uh. No, I can't see properly. Uh, health. No grenades left. I can't see anything. Where is he? I thought he was down the corridor. I didn't realize he was to my right. No, no grenades. Does water help? You would think it would. Alright, did I kill him then? That was intense. Alright, I did. Um, that grenade must have taken him out. It just seemed to take a while for everything to wear off. Now these things don't help either. Yeah, I wasn't expecting a second controller. <laughs> Yeah, a few bloodsuckers as well. I'll have a sandwich while I wait for him to make his mind up or some candy. Uh, this, yeah, I don't know if I should bother with that actually. No, that's the poltergeist. He's going to be around here, I know he is. Ugh. 
Ugh, dear, yeah. Not a good day for bloodsuckers and me. This is where I need a gun with a larger magazine, really. Oh, you're kidding me, right? Jump, you. And it jammed. It's a red one, all right. <laughs> no prizes for guessing that. Yeah, they are substantially harder than the uh, regular ones. I think I might have to invest in something like, uh, I don't know, can't think of the name of it, like an RPK or something like that. I might need to invest in some water as well. I've still got like well over 50 bottles of it, but uh, I remember early on in the mod when I was running out of water and I really did not like that. That experience. Actually, why don't I use this? Oh, what a shot that was. Oh, brilliant shot. <laughs> Not sure where this guy is. Could be up on the on the uh, machinery. Ah, uh, up there. Thank <laughs> you. 
just happened to clock him. I wonder if that's it. I expect the ones I shot before I went into the lab have uh, disappeared. I don't know if he's dead, but he certainly got injured. It must have given him, given him a hell of a headache. I only picked that one out because I remember one being there last time. Still overloaded, eh?
Well, I think that's about it. Um, lots of quick saves, but I don't really want to keep doing this section. Yeah, and I think the others that I haven't found must have despawned anyway, so... Conveniently, the army warehouses are next door, so I can go there. Ah, it's a bit easier to get out of there than I thought it might be. A little bit harder to penetrate, but uh, I got out okay. Well, lots of deaths, though. To be fair, lots of deaths in this episode. I don't know why, whether... Whether or not I'm, uh... Just not playing as well, or what? I don't know. Yeah, whether I'm not playing as well, or whether I'm just rushing things a bit, I don't know. Let's just go. Yeah, it's also that I save quite a bit because I, I just want to minimise the crash, the problems that occur with, when crashing. Of course, I might have a welcoming party on the way back as well. Bloody hell. Uh, maybe not this time. Maybe I'm just being overconfident, I don't know. I was playing some uh, PlayStation Doom earlier, so maybe that accounts for it. <laughs> now, I believe at some point uh, Le Havre opens up, uh, gives you a quest, and that opens up the unexplored land. I think I'm right in saying that, so that would be great to go into a completely fresh map.
Right, it's me again. Yep, I found the monolithian. He's dead. Here are the documents. Right, so he needs to study the documents and I need to take some R&R &R in the meantime. So I guess that's it for now. I could actually go back to the bar and speak to Garrick because I've got candy bars. So I think I'll do that. Uh, before I do, though, I will try and sell the old thing to Skinflint in case I can't get rid of them all at the bar. <laughs> well, I played like a rookie today. Huh? How strange, that's not because I'm speaking to Skinflint, is it? New task, speak with Freeman. No, it can't be. We have business to discuss, okay. Well, I'm going there anyway, so that's... Um... Oh yeah, that, yeah, I'll do that another time. I do forget about that, though. I guess he won't buy much else. That is the... Yeah, I forget. Did Le Havre give me that in the last episode? I can't remember. Anyway, let's go. that will be a good place to um, pause the recording. So when I'm there I can speak to Garrick and Freeman and sell some gear. Right, to the bar first I guess. Or I should say to barkeep. I'm here for the job am I? Oh yeah, Spleen of Rat. Oh, I have got that. Yeah, I just it's in my stash. I'll see if Petrenko offers more. I, I can't remember which one's the best one for... Uh, selling gear. That's about 4,000. Right, Freeman, is that you? Yes, good day. I got your SMS. What's going on? There's been word that you've been working with Le Havre. What's the deal with that? People don't work with him unless they are desperate for something. This is true. Since I started my investigation into the death of my friend Fang, a lot of mercenaries have began to appear. Tyrant, Le Havre, Bolt, I don't believe you're involved with these bastards, so I could use your help with this. Could you take a look at these documents that, that I retrieved for Le Havre? There was an identical copy of it from where I got it from. Can you see if it contains anything that might help my investigation? I see mention of other of some other mercs, but I don't know how it connects to my friend's death. He seems to be holding out on information that I need. Alright, okay. 
After all you have done for me, I would be glad to help you if I can. Let me see here. This is interesting. Yes, there is definitely some information in here. I think I understand who killed Fang and why. However, I don't have enough information to be positive. Remember when you retrieved my case from James? So that was ages ago. When I opened the case, son of James... Sorry, some of James's own documents were inside. One of these documents had information about a, co a confidential meeting of mercenary leaders. The meeting, as I understand, will be held somewhere in the Dark Valley. At this meeting, there will be a man called Bland. I've heard of him. That's one of the mercs mentioned here in these documents that you have. Bland should be carrying an important flash drive with them. You need to go and find this meeting and get that flash drive from him. Don't wait to do this. Go now, Marked One. Get there before everyone arrives or there will be too much protection. I really don't understand why everyone in the zone uses all these damn flash drives. That information could be better stored in your brain. Actually, come to think of it, mutants eat brains, not flash drives. Makes sense. All right, I will go now and find this meeting. Okay. Uh, Garrick. Oh. There's no conversation prompt. Ah. Oh yeah, candy bars to get through to speak to the repairman, but that's not what I'm interested in doing. Uh. Well, he's not... Uh, Nothing seems to be happening. No, nothing's happening there. Okay. Um, Trenko. Oh yeah, he does pay more for the RPGs, that's for sure. Yeah, he does pay more than barkeep. I, I'm mistaken. Yeah, I'll just go and check my stash. I might have the odd thing that I can sell that's or a condition than that. Oh, I haven't got a rocket launcher, have I? Um, oh yeah, I need that. Um... No, in that case, I, I might keep it actually now. Yeah, I'll sell that. And that if I can, although I might have to... I might wait until I'm 
going to Sid's because he will buy it. If I had enough time and this mod, well, it wouldn't have to be this mod. It could be any, like, um, very big game, I suppose, where you could play an enormous chunk of it and then you could edit it down. If I got return that to Sakharov, I can't remember. But yeah, then you could really make it a very polished series if you had like a ton of footage. Like, you know, several terabytes worth. Well, more than that, in fact. There we are, spleen of a rat. Hand of an Islam, I'll take it. Yeah, I might have one in my stash. Oh, I have got an Islam's hand, okay. Yeah, this is the last time I to and fro back before calling it a day, I think. Uh, alright. Foot of a snork, I might uh, have to edit this out. <laughs> right, that is enough. <laughs> Do I have to do something with the brain of a controller? I don't think so. I think I just got it as doing for the reward of doing a quest. It's probably got some property apart from being food. Oh yeah, it's like a tonic really. Uh, okay, I'll keep it on me. It's not that heavy. Walking around with a creature's brain in your pocket, it's uh, pretty gross really. I think we'll have to put this away for a while. I haven't got a lot of ammo for it. I do like it, but I haven't got a lot of ammo, so I think it'll... I'll just shelve it for now. Yeah, I might take the crossbow again. I haven't been using it much at all. Okay, so I think in the next episode... Get everything ready. Yeah, so in the next episode, I'm likely to travel to the Dark Valley to do this quest. I'm waiting to hear from Le Havre. Still need cigarettes for Garrick. Yeah, and I can't do that until I've got, I can't get the small thermoses until I've spoken to Garrick, which I need cigarettes for. But anyway, until next time, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your time. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll speak to you in the next one. Bye for now.